Hello everybody, welcome back to another day of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Quest. We will continue our run today, and let's just get it started. Once again, as per usual, we're going to be using Isaac on hard mode. So let's see what today's gun's got for us. Today's seed is going to be X2YPZD89. For those of you who want to play this at home. So, and we immediately get a mini boss fight with NV. That's not gonna be fun with our starting DPS at all. This, this could be a little bit, um, hopefully not too long, but. You, what you want to do in this fight is you want to, um, you want to take out one head at a time and just keep splitting that one head. Um, you don't want to create so many heads that it gets out of control and you have them flying everywhere because that's how you get hit. That's how you're going to get yourself hit almost guaranteed. Gotta be careful not to hit that other head again because it will split. And it split. It's not too bad because it's only four, but still, I would only prefer to have three in the room at once. And we get diddly squat out of him basically. We got one bomb. And yeah. So, there's a super champion right here, um, so we gotta be a little careful with that. Um, so that's gone, so we don't have to worry about taking two full hearts of damage. Super champions are really, really threatening when you know they can deal you two full hearts of damage. It's huge. It, it might not seem like a lot of hearts, but when you only got three at starting, it's a ton. I'm actually gonna wait right here for the spikes. I could made it, but I didn't want to risk it. And that will be forever alone. I do not want to fly orbital right now. D7. Not really into it. <laughs> For the second day in a row, Inner Eye. Inner Eye got us into a. Inner Eye, as you can see, my opinion has gone down about a little, but it's still very good giving you triple shot. Um, so. But hopefully they, especially since we unlocked the wire coat hanger yesterday, we'll get a tears up um, instead of um, getting nothing for damage upgrades except Cricket's head again. If we get Cricket's head again, I I won't even know how to um, explain that because yeah, inner eye by itself is not common. <laughs> it's not. It actually out rank it is kind of rare. I don't see it all that often. I wanna break this golden poop because some of the coins do come through those cracks. And you can actually collect them. For the, if you didn't know that. So that's why I'm kind of trying to angle my shots in between these cracks. It's a little slow with our tears rate though. There we go. And the Unfortunately, the dime did not shift into the corner, so we cannot get the dime. Sadly. That sucks. That would have been huge. Um, but let's move on. And there's a nickel. Oh, wow. <laughs> I literally lined my... Okay. We cannot be taking this much damage. That, no. Taking two, two bad hits from... Basically the same enemy is not okay. Uh, I'm glad we didn't blow this up before. Um, that would have just been sad. We would have completely lost that soul heart if we'd done that before we cleared the room. 
That's disappointing for me, honestly. I expect better. Luckily, I'm gonna wait till there's a rainbow poop in here, which will restore all red heart HP to full. I'm gonna wait till we clear the room, though, in case we take any more damage. We should not be taking enough damage, though, to um get down to more red heart HP being gone. That would be absolutely just bad. Oh, please don't turn up. Okay, he didn't. I thought he was gonna. I thought we were cornered right there, so that's why I was kind of like, oh no. I thought for sure we were gonna get hit there, because I was almost certain that he was gonna turn into that corner. With that, Larry Jr. goes down. We're gonna break this unicorn poop. As you can see, that restored our HP to full. Um, I'm gonna walk out and walk back in right here. Um, because these poops can drop money. They don't very often, but they can. Personally, I feel like the poops in oh, in here have a lower drop rate than the ones that will spawn. It. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I think that's the highest payout I've ever gotten out of a boss room with poops in it. Anyways, let's head on down to the next floor. Also, I forgot to mention the upgrade we got there was Mom's Heals, which is a range up. Not the greatest I am, but I guess if you need range, it's okay. I mean, range is nice. It's honestly looked at, it's kind of useless, but it's not. Range is useful unless you have Brimstone. <laughs> or something that fully negates range. And that's a pointless upgrade, but it's still kind of useful. Oh, there's no Mullabooms in here. That's sad. If I kill one of those, exp the, um, fly hive head looking guys, I forget their name. Ah, I'm gonna try to cor corral them over to that tinted rock over here. Because I want them to blow up this tinted rock. Come on. Yep. No. No. Yep. No. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get um, that Tinted Rock for free. And we got a bomb of it, and we got another soul heart. Cool. We also need keys pretty bad. Um, because one, we have enough money to make the shop worthwhile, and two, um, we need our item room. Also, it'd be nice if we could get an act the uh, space bar item. Space bar um, would be nice here, but honestly, I'm just looking for tears up or damage up, but not so much damage up as it tears up. Pill. Pills are useless. I do not recommend taking them, but you can play Isaac however you want to play Isaac. That's your choice. If you feel like taking the pill, take a pill. Um, now, don't take that logic into the real world. Um, please, um, don't do that. Um, but yeah, pills are just not worth it in my opinion. They can hurt you fairly badly. They can get rid of all your red heart HP almost and basically end your run if you've got only red heart HP. got a key. I'm gonna do this boss first because we're here. It's gonna be a monstro. Pretty easy fight. Triple shot's very useful against bosses, especially bigger bosses like this, because you're, oh, you're hanging all through your shots almost guaranteed. So, you get that guaranteed triple damage. I did not mention that in yesterday's run. So, as you can tell, we're lacking a t tier rate. 
Um, it honestly seems like damage right now, but it's not. It's our tears rate. We've got good damage with um having three times. What what's what's three times three point five? I don't even count as well. Anyways, it's tripling our damage. So <laughs> we got a shot speed up um, from the safety pin, as well as a black soul hard, as well as I believe a tiny range up. Um, I'm going to take missing page. Is it missing page number two? Yeah, it is. That gave us an our black soul hard, so we basically didn't lose any HP there. Our red heart HP got replaced with um, black heart HP. Yeah, you can see this dark aura around our head that I believe is missing page two. I'm almost sure it's missing page two. Epiphoria. So, we've had this item before, but. So, basically, what you do, you'll see here in a second. This is, oh, whoops. This is technically a tears up. A temporary tears up, even keeps shooting in the same direction for long enough. This is gonna be great for us, not having good tears rate. You see, it's doing us tons of favors right now. It has just dropped our tier rates by 12. Over a little bit of time. Now, as soon as we shoot our direction, of course, it goes back up, but that's pretty dang good. Being able to half our tier delay, but it's a little bit of a handicap to have to look in the same direction. But it's better than nothing, and I'm very happy with that. There's gonna be a double lock dream, but I'm not gonna do it because we need to get into the shop. Mullah boom, blow up, please. No, you need to blow up quick enough. No, I. Okay, we'll be going to the double lock room. It's fine, we had to use two bombs, anyways. I was just trying to tip up before you up. So that's why I kept shooting. Now I realized it was bouncing the bomb, and I tried bouncing it back with another volley of tears, but I didn't wanna. <laughs> now that would be very useful if we had a spacebar item, and we'd use that to gain floor, but we do not. I'm dying the shops over here. Yeah. Don't know why I came back over here. It could have been in the area that we just found on the, um, that dead end in, but... Now, I should be using Epiphoria. <laughs> this Epiphoria is going to be our biggest friend until we get an actual tears up. We need an actual tears up. Epiphoria is good, but it's not a permanent solution. We need something better. And we also, it would be nice game movement speed up. One is okay, but it's not great. It'll get it'll do for basic dodging. We get two red champions in here. And that one dropped a red heart. This one should, if it does drop, it will also drop a red heart. It did. What's in our shop? More options. We're most definitely going to be taking that. This will give us another option in our item rooms. Um if, along the lines of what we get to choose. So we'll spawn two iron pestles. We can only take one, though. So, it's good. It, it expands your item pool just a little bit. Well, not your item pool. It increases your chance to get a better item. An item you're looking for. An item you want. A good item, just in general. So, good item. Um, it helps us in the long run. Let's head on down to the next floor. Pace one at eight minutes. Not the best pace, but it's okay. No, we only have one key. I'm not doing that with only one key. Um, just gotta be careful in here. That eternal fly also could hit us. We have to be careful in here because that could have launched and hit us, and I didn't feel like that. So we have two keys. I'm not going to use the key on the golden chest still. If we get an key, I will. Chances are we're probably going to get an key. I have to turn around here. There's no way I can do this room without turning around. Sadly. Heh. 
It's just giving us dreams that's making us turn. This sucks. But... This is kind of the direction I wanted to be looking anyways. Wrap it for you. So you can see, if we get down to a, a natural tiers rate 12, then Epiphoria will get us down to uh, temporary tiers. A delay of um, 6, which would be very nice. A lot of red hearts. Jeez. Not a ton, but just a little. I do not feel comfortable facing that way in this room. And that's why I need to take these guys out. I need to take some on quick, it's about to fire off. As you see right there. That was a little close. Um, I clipped on that um, box down there. That unbreakable piece of stone. And I did not mean to do that, so that almost got us hit, but it didn't, thankfully. I don't need to turn this room. I want to, but I'm not going to. Oh, really? <laughs> That's why I wanted to turn this room. That was the worst time it could have spawned a fly. Spawned a fly right on top of us. That's... wow. I don't think I have words for that. That's just beyond stupid. <laughs> and that's what I mean by Isaac cheats sometimes. We'll bait them over to this side of the room really quick. Gotta be a little careful here. We have an exploring champion as long as a couple fatty baddies. Fatty baddies can shoot off shots like his, you just saw. I do not want to be close to that champion. You can see uh, how heavily it, Ep Epiphory is not hurting us, but it's helping us. It's helping us at a cost. It makes us not want to turn. And as you can see here, that's making this room more difficult than it should have to be. I want to take out this fat e baddies. Um, that's one way to take them out, I guess. Um, them destroying our black heart. Black heart's been destroyed. Um, $3 belt is not a good item. I don't recommend it. Come on. Monster manual is not great either, but it's. I'll show you what it does. It's just not the best. It can spawn a random follower. Yes, Bob's brain is a follower. Bob's brain will explode on something. Will explode on contact with an enemy. Three dollar build gives you random tier effect. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of it. We got a champion being here. That champion can drop money. Oh. Okay. It's, it's time to stop um, taking bad damage. We cannot be affording to take damage right now. I'm not directly lying up behind it because it could still see us from behind. Like, watch. Okay, it turns. Never mind. We did get in our key. I don't feel like going back for that chest right now, but if we end up going back, we need to here. We cannot. This is a very bad room for us to be in. As you can see, hopefully that kills that champion. I didn't. Okay, we champion's gone. We are most likely going to take him here no matter what we did. This is just a very terrible room to be in, in general. Very, very dangerous room. Especially with that skitterer or deciding to be a champion. That made it very, very dangerous. The skitterer or the skulls alone would not be too dangerous at all, but combining them, it's deceptively dangerous. I wish we had the mic for that. I'm not bombing this. I am going to be donating. We need to be getting in a lot more donations to upgrade our shop. And that's, um, take, like, 2 million IQ away from me. Um, I just absolutely screwed that up by holding fire. So we just wasted the bomb, basically. 
And we get more money for our donation machine. Also gonna blow up this keeper for maybe a little more money. No money today. Okay. Okay, we got store level one upgrade. The more we donate, the more our shop will be upgraded. Um, I think it starts affecting on the next floor, I think. I'm not 100% sure if it starts affecting on this run or, or the next floor. I mean, um, the next run we play or the next floor. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not doing that. We couldn't do the to. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You, that's where you can see this part your delay is hurting us, but with that before you, uh, luckily charging up is not too bad. The boss room's gonna be over here, guaranteed, yeah. I'm just gonna switch up before you, because we need to be facing this way for it anyways, for the boss fight. Oh! I didn't see that, um, champion, um, grub. This champion will give up her territory shot. I am not happy with that at all. So we just lost a half hard and half of HP in here. That's not okay. We need to stop taking damage like now. We cannot be affording take hits like this. And we get fallen. A terrible boss to get. Monster manual's gonna help us a little bit, not much though. I was really hoping for Gertie or something an easy fight. Oh wow. Our mute suit was not good, wasn't good enough to get us out of the way in time for that. This sort of fight really gets dangerous for us. No, 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 no. no. Mm. Fallen deals a full heart of damage on that. We get Gimpy. Gimpy's not going to help us until we get more HP. Gimpy gives us has a chance to drop HP when we take damage. We, mm. We're in panic. We're in crisis mode right now. We need, like, damage up or tears up from that. Like, pentagram would be a good damage up. Um, we haven't unlocked that bin. There is better HP. We're in trouble. We're in serious trouble right now. A combination of bad playing and, um... Um... A lack of good stats is hurting us really, really badly right now. Bad damage adds up. Uh, half heart here, or heart there. It it adds up really quick. I'm not. We might as well. We're not going to make boss rush. I can guarantee that. I'm gonna go check out that golden chest that could give us an item. Also, it'd give us just consumables in general. We need them. But yeah, we are not okay right now. You just give us something. <laughs> not worth it.
Our damage isn't even good enough, even with triple shot, to take out one of these guys when they're down in one shot. <laughs> That's when you know you're in trouble. We're hurting really bad right now. I'm tempted to take damage in here, just, you know. Epiphoria is getting his hit more than it's helping us right now. Should not be going after that before you're so hard. Learn from my mistakes. I'm just trying to keep them away from me. They slowly move towards you. They're starting to crowd, and so that's why I kind of just knocked back. We're gonna go head on down to the next. Actually, I want to check to see if uh, there's a tinted rock in this room. Probably not, but if there is, it's gonna be worth it. And there's not. This room could potentially be lethal if we get hit twice by these guys. We need to get hit at all, though, so that's nice. Yeah, we're we're in a bit of trouble. That mob trap room was a good example of showing you how how much trouble we're in. Super secret room. Um, we only got one bomb. I'm not gonna waste it. Cause chances are I'm not gonna be able to find it. Yeah, it couldn't have been right here. And down to the next floor. And we just lost the Daredevil deal. We, there goes our 67% chance for that. Is this X? No, it couldn't have been XL. This Caves 2. We're one shot by, by a champion. A one, champion can hit us once right now. We're dead. Tears up now. Or damage. Damage would be a good supplement for Tears up right now, honestly. I'll take either. I'll take any form of DPS I can get right now. Because we're hurting really bad. We have enough to buy a soul heart now if there's one in our shop. going to be the end of that run. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> uh, inner Eye is not blacklisted. I'm just not a huge fan of it. <laughs> That's two days in a row that got us into trouble. Guys killed the day. That is just really disappointing, honestly. That was a combination of me taking a ton of bad damage. 
combined with the um, lack of good stats. That is a danger with inner eye. Your massive tears down is detrimental. You don't get any stats up to help you with it. Okay. I has stayed there. I tried to dodge one way and decided to dodge the other. Don't do that. If you dodge, stick with your dodge. Don't change it. It will get you hurt. I if I get these guys from the campfire event and uh Um, that champion. Ooh, what's this? Double active card. Okay. And if we get a space bar, we can use that to um, basically get a free activate out of our um, um, space bar item without actually using it. Using the charge, at least. It uses the item, of course. This what's in the sack? A couple of pennies, that's it. Camo and these. Um, you'll see what this does in a second. Yeah. As long as you don't fire while you're in a room, camo and these are great. Now, what we really want now is an orbital. Orbital is almost a game over with camo and these. It's basically a game over with camo and these. Basically, as you can see, as long as we don't fire, they stay confused. And they don't know where you are. And they will not attack you. Also, we need to fire to kill stuff right now. I went now because, as you see, there's a couple more of these guys back here, and there's a couple more in the back over there. And we will have gotten cornered pretty quick. I'm not going to be able to hit both of these, but I'm going to try, I guess. Yeah, no. Um, the secret room could be there, but... I wasn't going to kill... I wasn't going to risk knocking this into rock to try to get her team to him. I heard up. Nickel drop. Cool, we got eight cents now. Okay, sorry, I had to go eat dinner. Um, so I forgot where we left off. Um, so I'm just gonna hop right back into it. Okay, it looks like we're just outside the boss room. Um, looks like we need to the shop. Um, I'm just gonna head right into the boss fight. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a, um... We're not going to get an orbital out of this fight. We have made a mistake here. Yeah, we got cornered off by that key. Um, that was, um... <laughs> very stupid playing on my part. Oh, um... We basically almost just did the same thing again. Dude. Really? It's just obnoxious. Gurgling's fight is not supposed to be this hard. Jeez. From basement. Oh my god. We just basically, I think, burned like a soul heart and a half. Dude. What is up with these gurglings? They're so... Okay, that one was my fault. They're so fast you can't dodge them. Jeez. Tears up. Should have speed down. We isn't really, really have enough speed to go up against them. Because I've taken no damage to the fight, absolutely. I made a couple mistakes, but... When they backed us into the door, the wall that had the door in it, that was just stupid. And no. That shouldn't have um, gone down that way. And I'm not going all the way back there to get half of a red heart. That's a 
let's head on down to the next floor for the second round today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chances are we're going to lose our double deal. We have nothing to protect it. We need to hope we find Tinted Rock or find our shop really fast. So we take a hit, we're in... Not necessarily trouble. We got good tiers, but we also want, want damage. What we really, really want more than anything else is an orbital. We found this Tinted Rock. I'm going to blow this up right now. Maybe it might take that champion to hit. Not. And it didn't give us a soul heart. That's a funny game. I couldn't tell if that was a retaliatory champion or one that dropped a soul heart or flies. Bumbo! <laughs> Not taking Bumbo. We need money. We need money. We need a soul heart. We got two more bomb. So now we really have to pray that we get a decent item and we get don't lose our double deal. If we lose our double deal, this runs in trouble, like our last one was. That's how it is. Okay. That looks like it was going to arc up and hit us. Yes, this room just sucks. With our damage, this room just sucks. Look at our tears to light. It's not terrible. Got a nickel. Got a key, so we we'll definitely want to go find our shop. Here it is, right next to the boss room. This is adjacent from it. I have not come through this far to get hit by a corn fly. Not happening. Got another key. Restock. Oh, this is tough. Restock and the soul harder in the shop. I'm gonna get restock here, I think. I think I have to. Restock could be huge. Yes, I'm gonna trade a bomb for this penny. It's not a good trade, but I'm desperate enough. I am taking the restock. Drop the penny and the bomb. Okay. Now let's hope we don't take a hit in here. We're not gonna take a hit. Not, most likely we're not taking hits. Monstro is an easy fight. Like they're gonna land somewhere, then they're actually going. Other than they're actually gonna land. That's how monstrous shots. They go into the air quite a bit, and you gotta be really careful with them and know how they work to be able to dodge them effectively. We're gonna get a double deal here. We get moly bread for our item. That's just more HP. The Pact, and we need to go deeper. And a couple of pills. I'm gonna take the Pact. Not taking, we need to go deeper. Not a good item. Pact's gonna give us uh, our tears up, as well as a uh, damage up. Gave us a little over one damage to give. It's like 1.13, I think. With that, we're gonna head on down to the next floor. Things are hard to see in the dark. 
in Isaac. He's on top. Okay. As you can see, we have very good DPS right now. Damage up definitely helped, but we have a five tier rate. We're at our um, softest tier cap. We get a golden key, so we can unlock everything on this floor for free. It doesn't actually consume a key. I'm very glad we took his restock instead of taking um Soul Heart. If you take a Soul Heart, I would have been a little discouraged. discouraged. I think restock was worth the risk. Missing page. I believe that it has a chance to um activate the Necronomicon effect. Which is mass room damage. It deals damage to all enemies in the room. Come on. Um, so... I don't like these spiders spawning enemies. They're terrible. Just because when they die, they spawn either a jumping spider or a big spider, which can split off into more enemies. By more enemies, I mean two more small spiders. This fat guy should be almost dead. We got a good DPS. Yeah, there he goes. What's it gonna be? The tower. I'm not using that unless we have good reason. Book Revelations is gonna guarantee us an orbital. Because it guarantees a horse in the spawn as well as ups our double deal chance by a little bit. And also is a soul heart generator, which every time we use it, it'll give us a soul heart. Unless we get Carberry or something, but then it'll give us two. This run's looking much better than the last run. Even though we took a ton of damage on the first floor. I don't want to be close to him when he dies. This this champion here is gonna go really fast, and it also drops a battery. As I actually like being able to see. We have fire shot, but I'm gonna do the boss pose. This is adorable. We're gonna get pestilence, no surprise there. You're gonna get pestilence or famine or war. Obviously, these grubs, if there's too many, it's gonna be a little problem, but with our DPS, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. I that see of Curse Darkness, I couldn't see that shot very well. Okay, we just got... We're trapped, and that's why we took a ton of damage. Because we got trapped by that creep up in that corner for a hot second. It spawns very quickly, well, so we got torn by the grubs as well. That was terrible. Two full full for to damage. Absolutely. We're gonna be able to make it back. These are the quickest shots I've ever seen come out of Pestilence, ever. And as protected, we gain orbital. We could technically win the game without taking damage now. And without ever having a single enemy proc at us. I actually am going to use our double active card now. Give us the soul heart back. I'm gonna wait to use that full charge. And that full charge in that room too. Kind of show you there's no enemies in the room. Oh. Let me pick that up. No oh, biggie. Chris Darkness is gonna be a little rough, but Oh, I'm not doing this room. <laughs> Those will explode us. And we don't wanna do that. I 
I think it's fine. This one's almost dead. Yeah. These, some of these two's gonna block, yeah. Here is a mob trap room. No risk it. As this is what I mean. Orbital is a pretty useful thing when you've got camel wendies. I don't know if that deactivates camel wendies. No, it doesn't. I wasn't sure on that. The reason camo on these keeps changing colors because it turns into the color of the part of the floor that you're on currently. So you can see this makes this extremely easy when you use your orbital offensively. You just have to be a little careful not to ding yourself on enemies. <laughs> but yeah, it's. It works on some bosses, our bosses still attack. Um, so... 9 volt. Gosh. I'm gonna go hard for 9 volt. It's... Honestly, it's gonna be worth it. Get lucky toe. Okay, I'm not gonna bomb that again, I'm gonna finish off the floor. <laughs> funny game. All the money in the world we could have needed if we had flying or hanged man's card. Yes, hanging yourself in by advice it gives you flying. Yeah. <laughs> um, the item that actually does that for you is transcendence, which is basically the item looks like a noose. Um, it can spawn, I don't think it can spawn in the regular item pool, it can only spawn in secret rooms, I think, unless you have chaos. Honestly, Camo and these does not really help us in these rooms. They don't care if we're invisible or not, they'll still fire. Anyways, got a little bit of money. Obviously, it's not enough for us to get 9 volt. I really want 9 volt. No, 9 volt's gonna be great. 9 volt's gonna be worth it, and yeah. There's a couple things we can do, I think, without actually bombing. We have, um, golden key, so it's gonna be nice. Could drop us money. Or just drop us our bomb back. Um, we didn't lose anything, we didn't get anything. Except for two red hearts. Two, well, not two red hearts, like two half red hearts. It's gonna be worth it. We, we're going to donate this back, anyways. Eventually. And that's the restock that you just saw. 9 volt also gives us full charge, but also, as you see here, for every time we use it, we get one of our charges back. One that little part of the charge bar comes back every time we use our active item now. Or the space bar in our terms. We call it Space Rhyme because we use Space Bar to use it. And I'm just going back and collecting these um, little charges now. So, yeah. I should have could have gotten money out here. Let's see if we were gonna. No, it wouldn't have gotten any. And yeah, you're probably thinking, oh, there's money on the map lamp. Why don't you just go back and get it? Well, um, that's because, one, we don't have flying. And we would need flying to get those. So yeah, that's why. So, we're finally at, um, Caves 2 at 13 minutes. Not a bad pace, not a good pace. It's mediocre. Not too 
forgot about that. What are you gonna do about it? These guys are freaking out, so it's a little risky to go at them. I'm just gonna be at the side though. They, for the most part, are going sideways. It's weird. <laughs> that last. <laughs> I'm not sure how I got hit by the grubs. As you can tell, I'm not worried at all. As you can tell, when enemies are confused, even though they're doing their shoot animation, they're not actually shooting anything because they're confused. That's a downside to Camel and Ease. You can't see if it's a champion. I know it still is a little bigger at the last second. I'm just like, uh oh. And I tried backing away, but it was already too late. So. Whatever, what happens, happens. It's whatever. We're gonna get it back. It's not like we're out that HP forever. We book revelations and it changed HP down. And here's a prime example of some enemies that still work while they're confused. Wall spiders still work. <laughs> Another exploding champion. Great. I really don't want to un uncamel. What a ricochet that would have been if it had hit us. That would have just been absolutely stupid ricochet. If that bomb had actually stayed on us. Well, we're here. I might as well do the boss while I still have a good double deal chance. It's gonna be Fallen. As you can see here, Fallen is not confused. He knows exactly where we are. As you can see, at the Fallen's animations are relatively straightforward. He has pattern. Also, orbitals block shots, as you're seeing. I wasn't going in offensively because I want to keep a distance from them so that I have more time to dodge their shots. Because both of them will tend to fire off at the same time about. Unless they get off sync like this. I want to get out of the bottom. I was not fast enough. We take a ton of damage to Fallen, but that's just mostly bad damage, and plus I'm cocky right now. And I'm not playing the safest. Because we have Book of Revelations, and we just got Lord of Pit. So now we have Flying. That would have been really nice last floor game, but we still have our regular Devil Deal too. Guppy's Collar and Headless Baby. Guppy collar, Guppy's Collar is no reason not to take it. It's a Guppy item, and it gives you a chance to revive. A 50% chance to revive yourself every time you die. Um, so it could revive you never, or it could revive you like two million times. You never know. So we're still actually looking for our item room in our shop. Also, you can see here, Lust is not confused either. It does not really work on bosses and mini bosses. I'm contradicting what I said before. I thought it worked on some bosses. I could be right that still, but I'm not sure. So our item room and our shop is not where I thought it would be at all. Also, after we get a little more HP back, I'm... Oh, whoops. I forgot that we had, um... I forgot we had, um, Camel Wendy's. A couple champions right here. I think these are speed champions. I can't tell. If they're speed champions, they would have dropped some batteries, actually, so... And we get a troll bomb and a couple of regular bombs. And a few cents. Nice. And I'm hoping it's over here so I have to deal with that big room. This room would have just been a nuisance to do with um with um Camo and these and my orbital. Because they are all they're all just gonna hover in the middle and stay in the middle, generally. It was just gonna be faster for me to just take them out like this. Using my orbital offensively. These guys do retaliatory. Yes, I can block with the orbital. Do I feel comfortable doing that right now? No. These are examples of them where Camel and these and that are going to be great. Also, oh, we can't get into the boss trap room because we have more than one red heart HP. Well, we still have the two full containers. Um, no? That did not hit us, game? Excuse me? This is a champion. Um, it's not going to explode or anything. I 
could tell it was a champion because of the creep under it. It was a creep champion. Um, if anyone feels like making a clip of that of that statue hitting us with that shot, I am fairly, I'm almost 100% sure that didn't really hit us. If someone can make a clip of that and just like link it in the comments below, that would be appreciated to see if that my eyes are just wrong or if that really didn't hit us. That was a champion of some sort. This one's also a champion. I can, you can tell by they're slightly larger. So I'm gonna kill off the ones that aren't champions, and I'm gonna... Yep. It was a dark blue champion, so it could drop the soul heart with flies, I believe. I know it can drop flies. Um, I know... I don't know if it's a separate champion that drops soul hearts, though. I don't think it is, but... Um, I'm just gonna... Get rid of camos on As you can see here, them being confused makes them erratic and more dangerous. They can actually uh, break their speed cap when they're confused or feared. And it's really, really dangerous. Like, because they're completely erratic and they will fly everywhere. And we get full charge here, which is exactly what we're looking for. And we also found our shop. Still looking for iron. You're going to basically get full clear of this floor. Just really hoping our donation machine was in here. Might as well buy a full charge. Just use it. You see here, with restock, if we find a way to make infinite money, um, we can basically get infinite HP. We can get infinite anything. Infinite items. The shop is the key to all the items in the game. Straight up. That's how good the shop is. The shop can get you every single item in the game. Because you can get chaos out of the shop and chaos randomizes the item pools. So if you have a means of getting infinite money, you're going to get chaos and you're going to break the game. The shop is overpowered. <laughs> As, as long as you, if you can get infinite money and break the game. That's what you call a game break, if you can basically just become the most overpowered thing ever. I'm not taking Bucket of Lard. It's, I believe, three hearts, three or two hearts of HP, red heart HP, but it comes with a massive speed down, and I'm not into that. We don't really need HP anyways. I am going to head into curse room now. We can get in here for half price. I'm not... It's spiders. Come on. If this hits me, I'll be really... I'll feel really dumb, but as you can see here, they're not gonna hit us. Now, could we get one consumable off here? Yeah. And we don't. So we're gonna take half our damage right here. But since we're flying, we only take half of the damage that we would if we didn't. Because we, we only took damage coming out. If you have a teleportation card, you can get out for absolutely free. Um, so yeah, or if you fully mantle, you'll get you can get out of those for free too. But, so, not the best pace. I don't think we're gonna make boss rush. I, I'm just guessing. I haven't seen our timer lately. Oh yeah, no, we're not making boss rush. Not blowing up, we don't have starter deck. I'm gonna do it, we have the means of doing it, we get pretty nice things out there. I'm just gonna ding them off my orbital. You just have to be a little careful, wait till they jump and then go in. These guys are easier. They teleport, yeah, but they don't jump around, and they stay relatively still. Except for when they teleport. I mean, me. Stay put. Okay. Get a double active card. Again, I'm using that right now. Yeah, it's super glut. Um, easy fight. Just gotta be watchful and mindful of the things. Like if these this, um, you just gotta take him out first and then I focus on him. Watch. He shoots in both directions now. 
compared to regular Glenny. Super Glenny, I believe, can, as well as Glenny, can bu drop Bucket of Lard as well. Get a key. He did not drop the item, which is, I went to take it anyways. A couple of bonies. Some. Um, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> nope. So as you can see, it's technically possible to kill these guys without taking explosive damage, but that was just pure luck of me realize. Well. It wasn't luck. It was on um, me realizing, oh, hey, these guys explode. Um, I shouldn't be using an orbital on them. I will take damage. Um, so I immediately started running. And that was just fortunate timing for me that it blew up. But I didn't take damage. Acid Baby, no. Acid Baby does things when you take pills. Um, it also drops pills. Flush. I'm not taking it. I should have taken it to get out of the iron pool. Dry baby, I'm tempted to take, but we got bombs, so I'm gonna keep rolling. We can get something better. I'll take a little brimmy. As you can see here, a little brimstone will um, annihilate anything it sees. It will absolutely destroy. Um, overall, great follower. I'm um, one of the best, in my opinion. If not the best. I'm just gonna kill all of them with Lil Brimmy. <laughs> well, if we use our shop. No point in buying the full charge. When there's a soul heart right there, anyways. So I don't think we're doing full clear, but we're going to do most of the map. And I just didn't feel like doing this room. It's just an easy room. I didn't feel like doing it with camo on these. I'll do this room with camo on these, obviously, because this. And this room takes forever, usually. Not forever, it takes a little bit of time, though, because you have to be careful not to get shot by the Arvis from the corner when you're attacking the other one. That you're. That's. So. Okay, so. Say your vis is right here. You go right here to attack it. This vis is going to activate as, as well as the one in this corner. So you have to be mindful of that, and you just have to be careful. And if you try to go up here to attack it, this vis will activate. So you just have to kind of sit around for a little bit and um, wait for the vis to stop firing, basically. Golden poop, yay. Money. It was just mostly pennies. I think it was all pennies, actually. Friend friendly spiders, yay. Should have done this room with camera on these. Should have, would have, could have. I'm actually wishing I had taken the flush or another active item, so I want to get, um, well, I will still technically have gotten a horseman fight, but honestly, actually, you know what, it's an achievement. I'm gonna stick with the Book of Revelations, hope, I think it, no, it'll be one boss fight short, I think, actually, of being able to get me, um, um, super meat girl. I mean, Super Bandage Girl, I think it's called. I don't know exactly what you would call it. Bandage Girl, I guess. Still haven't found a item room, but it's Death's one, so I'm just going to head on and fight the boss. We got plenty. It's going to be Warp. No surprise there. I'm going to use a little for me a lot right here. This is Warp for you. This is one of his moves. As you see here, we're doing great damage to him. And he's in second phase. And now he's basically useless and isn't going to be able to do crap to us. Watch. 
If we sit on top of rock, we can just cheese him. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fight him kind of legitimately. <laughs> but he's dead. We get our advantage. So now our orbital, as you're seeing, also shoots. Next step up, it will start running around. It will no longer be an orbital. I'm a little wary on that. I like this doing damage this way, but we don't need it anymore. Oh, almost hit that campfire. And we're going to be doing a full clear. We have Wilbur and me, so I'm just gonna... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I meant to actually shoot them. I swear, I'm not trying to miss. Our damage is good enough to the point where we can just kill them ourselves. It's mostly our tears delay. Our tears delay is making this for us. Oh wait, where I found our item room? What am I talking about? <laughs> We're just gonna head on down. I could bomb those. I'm not gonna. There's no point. We have full HP. Down to depths too. I'm kind of hoping we find um, a dice room that rolls and restarts a floor in the womb, so we can get a extra full floor, so we can get the full bandage girl. At least on womb one. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to use that. It was reflex. Um, I have no point to use it right now, obviously. Arcade. Might as well check it out. I'm gonna wait until we find our shop. See what's in the shop. Whoa. That's the problem with floors. They can spawn basically right where you're walking. They can't spawn directly on top of you. So that's better than any, nothing. I'm guessing he's gonna spawn over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Don't leave it on the ground. No, like I said before, no reason to pick it up. We found our item room. This champion is just gonna have a little more health than the rest of them. It's very easy to go and proc his ability twice because he had that ability um, to fall into a lump of flesh on the floor. And since he already had that, he proc'd it twice. I'm just going to knock these guys into the spikes with my knockback from my tears. Unless the other one kills itself without me even touching it. Hollow, you're not really scary at all. Because I can just absolutely destroy you like this. Magneto's gonna pull consumables towards us. Except for things like cards and pills that won't pull towards us. Also, if you don't find our shop, I'm not gonna go looking for it. I say don't find I mean if we find the boss room. Dude, these guys are jumping like crazy right now. And I'm gonna wait to do that one last. Or you can get hit. Anyways, um, let's just use Book of Revelations right now. I just want to get the charge, it's fine. I waited too long in there, that's why I got hit. Could 
you stomp, please? Mom, have you have you just gone MIA? Hello? <laughs> Mom just stopped doing anything for a second there. It's this is weird. I've never had mom do so little. I took a little bit of intentional damage there to try to get a little bit more of damage. Mom's almost dead. Double deal. I'll take the HP so we can take. Flam <laughs> roll, get brimstone. Now this is what I call good. So now basically you see we have the same tier effects Brimmy, little Brimmy does. We have brimstone with 17 tier delays, which is fan freaking tastic. This is gonna be flatworm. Doesn't really do much for us here. As you see, it doesn't really change anything. Basically, what Brimstone does is it hits an enemy 13 times in a second. Um, I believe it's 13 at least. Um, and it will annihilate their health. So, it's basically times 13 our DPS. Also, it gets rid of the range problem for us. Range doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> we have infinite range. And this one run is what, literally one. It was one the second we got Book of Revelations, but it's really one now. Super Champion. Doesn't matter, you're dead. Eh, might as well. We get rage. We actually, no, we don't gain anything. Well, technically we do because we got room clear, but we technically didn't get yeah, we got HP. We tank would have gained anything if it had just been that black. We just wouldn't have lost anything. Because we take one full hard damage now for, from every hit. That spire was really close to hitting us. So you see now rooms are just going by so quick. This isn't a brim snap. Brim snap refers to just being able to tap on brimstone and just hit firing um, instantly and just continuously doing that. It's very fun <laughs> to say the least. If you have brim snap, you you you've won no matter what. It doesn't matter if it's because of soy milk. You've won. Might as well do it. It's just fun at this point. And we're just about to annihilate. Remember what I said with MB? Doesn't matter anymore. We could do MB like this. <laughs> we absolutely annihilate everything right now. I'm gonna wait for Lil Burmy. That's why not. So this is just fun at this point. And Chubb, I'm sorry, but you're going to the grave next. I'm gonna use Pop Tower card here to make him try to eat a couple of them. Aww, we didn't eat them, whatever. We actually got hit. He decided to take time to spawn children that we're just gonna kill anyways. What a cruel thing to do to a child, just bringing the world for me to take it out of it. I'm just gonna go over here and just shot these boils. Might as well take it. We could be going the wrong way. I really don't think we are though. This will be really long. Ooh. Champion down there. Camo champion. They blend in with the floor. They have like the camo on the effect. Get the high priestess. That'll make um mom stomp, I believe. play this judgment. I'm not gonna play the demon judgment over there just because I don't feel like it, but I'm not taking that. I don't know why I play him. He almost always gives out HP. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to collect that. Whoops. Okay, sorry. I was just checking um, what this dice room does really quickly. This is a gold d20, so I might as well use it to roll that chest. Yes, you can roll empty chests. Just a little fun fact. I'm gonna play on this demon judgment. Oh, wait. <laughs> that will use actual soul heart HP. I'm not playing on this demon judgment. I forgot because we take full heart damage. I forgot demon dungeons don't work the right way anymore. The way they used to in, um... The way they usually do. Hello? Statue? Thank you. I... Not thank you, but I don't like you, statue. We're gonna get death. I was really hoping that was, a uh, Forget me now reroll room to restart the floor. No such luck, though. body and let's take out this little pony. There we go. We'll get third stage ball bandages now. We will no longer be in orbital. We also get a double deal. Surprised about that actually. And we're gonna get nine lives. Basically now we're gonna get guppy. We've just got guppy. <laughs> we got three guppy items. And we unlocked the challenge too. Um your guppy with brimstone is very powerful. You're gonna see why in a minute. Well, as we hack down the next floor. Okay. It's because we're hitting an enemy 13 times per- and we get steep, which is a damage job. <laughs> My goodness. Brimstone hits 13 times per second. So it's gonna spawn a massive amount of flies. The only thing that really spawns more flies than Brimstone is the pointer. Um, that's not actually but I don't think. Um, it's a, basically a finger that um, points at enemies and deals a low amount of damage, but will create a massive amount of flies, which is very, very powerful. When you have Guppy. It's a good item, honestly. And we get the virus, so basically, so we'll get a slight movement speed down. But basically, things will get poisoned when they touch us, and regardless if they're poisoned or not, when they die, they have a high chance, higher chance of dropping a black. They have a chance, not a higher chance. They have a chance of dropping a black soul heart, and it's a relatively high chance. We just got the Ron Petty achievements. That's cool. You can see here our flies are just absolutely destroying everything we fight now. So we're still going to be looking for the boss room. I'll use the High Priestess card in the, in the fight, because why not? It's free damage. You can see here we're going to start getting... Uh, a positive amount of flies. We're not going to be using all the flies in the rooms now. Because we're going to be able to kill them before the enemies, before our flies are able to get to them. Nah. I, I was just didn't want to deal with this room. <laughs> so I just... Yeah. That's why I did that. Double locked room here could be a dice room. Or it's a chest. Um, let's see what we get. <laughs> we get a soul heart, which we don't need. I mean, we might as well, it could give us another consumable. Yeah, it gave us a penny. Useless. Okay. Um, might as well just grab snap that. <laughs> Oops. You can just see here, we just have a an army of flies now. I don't think the boss fight's gonna be this way, but it might be. It really doesn't matter if we get hit anymore. We have sufficient amount of HP. 
And we're on the final floor for this run. Unless we get our devil deal, which we can get into Sheol. Or Shoal, whichever one we want to call it. It's technically Shoal. Which we can fight Satan and end the run. Which would be interesting. I, this, this is a run, honestly, I would take to Mega Satan. This is a Mega Satan run. No, we have the... <laughs> we don't have the key pieces, but we can get them. Um, if we find a sacrifice room, we're gonna go find we're gonna go fight Mega Saiyan. If we get a sacrifice room, we are doing Mega Saiyan today. Ay, ay, ay. More eternal hearts. It's doesn't hurt anything, I guess. We're just gonna give us the less tan when we kill him. Yep. Up tans. Turns all chests into red chests. It's a great for getting Guppy, but I'll see where we have Guppy. Um, so we don't really need it. It's useless. It's is kind of up for us. And I'm gonna check the rest of this floor from a uh, sacrifice room quick. I I want. I really want to make this happen. I want to fight Mega Saiyan today. After today's first loss, which was a tragedy. Um, not really a tragedy, it was just sad. <laughs> um, I really want to, um, it's not gonna happen on this board. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a double deal. Actually, I'm gonna hunt around for the secret room. There it is. To blow up the key pearl, we get to blow them up for free to raise our double deal chance a little bit. I really want to make this happen, if you can't tell. Shield can technically have a sacrifice room. I really, really want it. And let's use High Priest's card, because why not? It basically takes down half of... It's a good card. It's a good card. As you see here, it just eliminates half of um, Mom's heart cell. The flies, as you see here, are doing work. Unfortunately, we did not get... <laughs> we did not get a sacrifice room. So, I believe this might be... Okay. So that's going to be it for today's run. It's unfortunate we didn't get to have Guppy that long. But, um... Yeah. Today was a good day. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's just get over with, I guess. Anyways. Um... If you like my content, um, consider subscribing, leaving a like or dislike. Um, comments really help Isaac. me too. So, having said that, I hope you have a fantastic day, and goodbye.